Welcome, dude. Hey, are your arms tired? Are your arms tired or something? Nah, dude. I got fucking, uh, I got, I got fucking guns, man. (laughs) What? Dude, dude, the fucking liberal left is trying to take (laughs) these puppies away, dude. I hate you. I fucking hate you, dude. It's just fucking too fast. Um, so how are you, Zach? How was your uh, plane ride? Um, yeah, it was fine. There's really no issues. I am tired. I'm on like four to five hours of sleep from like every night, plus like tons of just drinking and socializing. So, like, I apologize if I'm like not 100% here right now, but we are 100% here right now. This we is are. no joke. So, um, just give uh, give the common viewer just a little rundown of, of uh, why you were just on a plane. No, I mean I was on a, a business trip for like my real job to oh, Colorado. Cool. So I I'm not I'm not like like privy to disclose like the details of like everything that I'm doing. I can share with you some stuff like afterwards, yeah, but yeah, like yeah. uh you know in terms of the the fun shit again like just tons of a uh, um just really blow. just a lot of drinking yeah. <laughs> and uh <laughs> you know like exploring Colorado. So like they put me up in this like uh cabin in Estes Park. And um, it's just some incredible like views every morning while I'm working. Like I yeah. got to go up on those mountains and just, yeah. dude, fucking awesome. Yeah. I love Colorado. If you ever have the opportunity to go, like seriously, like do it. Dude, that was that was where a bunch of my friends in high school, when they, when they would want to like go on like a cool cross country trip, they'd go there because uh, weed was legal. We'd always been legal. Yeah, you know, you know what's funny about that. So I was talking with a few of my coworkers because they wanted to go out and like, you know buy some weed like we'll do a little organized like trip mm-hmm. into town we'll go mm-hmm. to a dispensary mm-hmm. or something estes park for whatever reason two years ago voted to like not sell weed in their town so we were in like the only city in all of colorado that does not sell marijuana but yeah we were asking some townskeepers and they were like yeah you'd have to drive like 30 minutes over to like Lyons, colorado interesting um, yeah and like you know not everyone had access to be like driving cars the way that the trip was structured. So it was mm. kind of a, I don't, I frankly didn't care. I was like, that's fine. Like it, it sucked a little bit, but like, you know, for certain people, they were like pissed off, mm. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. like they were like, ah, oh, damn, that was like a big part of why I accepted yeah, exactly. to go to Colorado. And it's like, yeah, come on. yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's like calming your ass down a little bit, but yeah. um, that's, that's, that's dope though. Um, did, you've been on a plane, like, you know, you, you've, flown somewhere two times in the last what month no this is actually the first time i flew and like i drive a lot so like you you drove to vegas or whatever yeah i drove to vegas road trip to vegas um you know i I like to travel to like a lot of like small towns around arizona where i live and that's just like 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 uh, like, um two months ago i drove to new mexico I, i drove to la like those are all around like six to seven hour car rides Sheesh. um maybe even a bit less so for las vegas um depending on how uh, like busy traffic is mm. so it's it's a pretty big time commitment but it's doable in like a day and i personally like a it's cheaper or knock on wood is usually cheaper when gas isn't like 200 dollars a gallon but like you know it, it is usually cheaper to drive instead of buying a plane ticket running a car getting a hotel and all and all that um but I just like having the autonomy to be like, I'm going to get in my car and go somewhere. And that was like a big, um, like the, the, one of the very few downsides to this past trip is like, I was not like registered with the company to like be an authorized driver of the rental vehicles. Yeah. And so like, I couldn't just like, Oh, I want to go somewhere and just get in the car and start driving. I had to like, I'm going to walk or ask someone yeah. to drive me somewhere, which as a adult man is not something that I'm like used to doing a whole lot is being like, can you please drive me somewhere? <laughs> yeah. Please? I, so I, I have, I personally hate driving. Um, I also have a fairly old car. My car is an O three odyssey on odyssey. Mm. So I have a fairly old car anyway. So even if I wanted to drive a certain distance, I would worry that my car is gonna, just going to break down halfway, you know, halfway through the um, trip. Like my my girlfriend lives two and a half hours away that I could drive, but I'm not gonna, I'm not going to drive that until I get a new car. Um, and I, the, this car is actually the same car years ago that we would bring down to North Carolina and we would go to my parents' house down in North Carolina. <laughs> that's a um, much that's a much bigger time commitment. Fourteen and, to fifteen yeah. hours, yeah. Oh, that yeah. was um, but 
Uh, I never drove. Um, my mother is an uh, overprotective suburban white mother, so what do you, that's what you're going to get. Um, I think it's funny. La- last episode, we joked about kicking Sean off finally, and now here he is. He kept Stacking making Larry David his way back in. He kept making jokes earlier that I th- I thought he was going to like try to ditch the podcast, or it, I don't know. I didn't know if he was trying to ditch or if he was trying to to uh, uh, like make the make that joke again. Get a little ruse out of you, yeah. yeah. Um, because he was like, "Oh yeah, that podcast." What did what did you say? You were like that podcast. You said something about we, and I was like, "You keep saying we, dude." Yeah. Please, please, please. Leave. I'm leaving. <laughs> Take, you can't leave before I do. Um, um dude. Um, um, uh, yes. Um. Uh, so the yeah the um. <laughs> yeah, so I, I've had a, personally i've had that's, that's such a dumb that is like the like the low energy that we like that is perfect that is exactly what we want um yeah you so, want me to go get like six apples from my fridge and i'll just eat those we can time me yeah see if that's the, is that the content time. that we're going with eating six apples <laughs> i love how it's always apples it's always i love apples. how every episode with it like last episode with you and me is maybe the only one where we didn't mention apples and maybe we even did maybe i even brought it up in passing as like a joke maybe yeah oh um one of our two viewers can fact check me on that and then already call me names on the internet me me mm. where's number me. two? Oh, do you watch two that's two there we go okay well i mean i i put the clips together so yeah, i kind of yeah, have, have to watch but uh yeah i'm kind of you know I, I, people are there I, was I a, there, we had a we had a behind closed door meeting and ben pulled the gun out and said i'm gonna you know yeah. I, I don't think it would be actually appropriate if I said the exact words of what yeah. you said, but I'm going to actually... be watching the episode, sure. I'm showing you the gun. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is the guy I, I this used to <laughs> oh, I, have, shit, I, have, I just have two of these sitting on the ground. Um, I've had a, 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 a... You know, my week has been so full for me that mm-hmm. I don't even like... I didn't even think about this podcast and I kept like, it was like, you know, obviously I know it's going to happen, but I was like, fuck, you know, like, yeah, I, I edited the video, uploaded the video and I did not think about this podcast until I think like yesterday. I was like, oh, we got to do the podcast tomorrow. I, I, um, you know, I, I do have some like stuff I think would be fun to share with you, like mm. off of the air, but like to be really general, like, um, I, I've been just staying up super late and like hanging out with people, which is awesome. Mm. But also like, I'm so fucking tired. Yeah. Like last night I was thinking about it. I was like, you know, I have to like travel tomorrow. And then like an hour after I actually am supposed to get home, I'm like hopping on here and talking to people. Mm. I should probably get more well rested, but I got fucking hammered. And it was like <laughs> one, it was like, it was like one in the goddamn morning by the time I was done, like talking to everyone and like walking back to like my mm. room. And mm. I the fucking, dude i woke up at like 6 a.m after that i was like five hours of sleep like max and just started like driving to the denver airport like I'm, dude i'm fucking i'm so happy but at the same time i'm like fucking yeah fucked dude yeah um yeah alcohol is bad you really shouldn't be drinking okay that much, that's part of the things i wanted to talk about okay so a bunch of shit happened in my life past you actually can we pause this so i can actually get an apple i'm kind of hungry yeah, you could just go get your apple. Uh, yeah, right? yeah, I didn't know if you were gonna need no, no, me no, for we'll anything. No, no, we'll pause it. No, just for you. We'll pause yeah. it. Yeah, uh, we'll pause free. it. No. All right, free. get her done. Get her done, dude. <laughs> he has so a fun. fucking Larry the Cable Guy. Line. That's that's Larry the Cable Guy, right? Dude. Well, it's a Gator Dunn, I think, is the Larry the Cable Guy quote. I couldn't tell you if that was him he was the like, speaking or if it was someone like doing the Larry the Cable Guy thing. I may this is a this is a, a really weird way to introduce a story. I may have seen Larry the Cable Guy in person. Interesting. Not Recently? But I don't know for a fact. No, this is when I was in high school. Okay. I was in my high school band and um they uh there was that we were doing this like big it wasn't really a show like when you're in high school band, they like take you to these big events to like not perform for anyone, but perform for like judges exclusively. And they get like graded and that's like how they rate and rank bands. Um, it's like, like private showings for, for judges and then you get graded on it. Anyways. Um, we were at this like performing of the arts theater hall or something in Arizona. And there were big posters outside for like Larry, the cable guy coming through and, you know, we're doing our performance and I'm, you know, it, it, it wrapped up 
And like, as we were putting things away, a bunch of people in suits came in and one of them was in like a big, like flannel shirt with like, yeah. And, and just like, like kind of like him. Yeah. The fucking stupid yeah, hat. Like, too. Like, like, yeah. Like flannel shirt and cat. But like, I, I was so far away. It was like so dark. If, if you've ever been on stage, you know that like the light shining in on you, it's so dark. You can't you yeah, can barely yeah. see like stuff that's like going on beyond it. So like, I may have seen Larry, the cable guy or there just happened to be a dude in a flannel jacket while Larry the Cable Guy was going to show yeah, up like yeah. a week or two yeah, later. Yeah, he's, he's so, a body double. He's a body double, right. That'd be hilarious if Larry the Cable Guy was so important he needed to have like fake Larry the Cable yeah. Guys yeah. In, in case in the event of a, a, a attempted Larry the Cable Guy assassination, it would be more difficult to, I thought you were gonna to, do to like, find the... I thought you were going to go in the paparazzi way, not so much the, the assassination, mm. but either way, just have just like well, a man else, to kill. No, it's, I feel like it's like... You don't hire do. body doubles to throw off paparazzi. You do that to right. like if, if you think right. someone's yeah. out to kill you. You just see a red yeah. dot on the fake Larry the Cable guy's skull, just like moving around. And you you got to get paid pretty good money to be a to, to be an like a, a body double for, yeah. for an assassin. You yeah. you think that? You would think well, that? What I does think, that mean? Well, the body double <laughs> he has experience. The body double definitely should probably get paid, but like apparently, it's not that expensive to kill people. <laughs> have any numbers? Yeah, I know a guy. I, this is like a friend. Um, yeah, he says that it's like not that expensive if you really <laughs> wanted to. Remember how like the first, was it the first or second episode we were both like, a, yeah, this is like a drug dealing networking podcast yeah. where we just yeah. like you know provide information and you know create networks of different drug dealers yeah, in right. varying cities so you can travel and effectively get drugs, which would have been helpful on my business. So that, trip when you, yeah, when you say business respect. trip, that's what you're talking about. Yeah. Well. Party in the front, business in the back. One in the chamber. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I, I, do you see me? I, I, I'm resisting the urge to touch my microphone. Yeah, I was about to do you see was, this. Yeah. Um, okay, so I had I had a pretty hectic week. No, it wasn't hectic. It was hectic for me, which is not really that hectic. Um, but uh, the night that I we released, no, it was Sunday. Sunday, so Sean and I have been playing through Ruby and Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, and we had a, like a really cool like, pro- uh, like highish. I I produced it. It was very it, well done. It was it was a well done on, on his end little battle, right? So I like I made I just made like an overlay. So so the point is at the end at we beat Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, we 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 get all level one hundreds and we battle. That was the whole idea. And so I, I produced like a whole thing, like an overlay and shit with like, you know, just indicators of who's dead and who's not shit like that. <laughs> so I'm trying to troubleshoot because shit's just not working. Like OBS is just giving me flack. Um, the thing that I'm the, inviting Sean to, uh, to, to control the game is giving me flack. And Sean just doesn't stop talking. And I'm like, oh, no. He talked about having a fucking gin and basil a little bit ago. Uh, this isn't such an oddly specific. You made that yourself? That's just an oddly specific. No, I was, I was, like, was at a oh, restaurant. I was at a restaurant. Okay. And it was called something Gimlet. And it was gin, seltzer, and basil, and lime juice. I'm holding back that your mom's a gymlet like so hard right now, but uh, it's a no, yeah, that's like oh, something. If yeah. you if you're at a if you're at a restaurant, you order something like that. It's perfectly fine. And, and if you made it at home too, that I make boot, like like weird ass shit for myself all the time too. I just. I'm trying to imagine me at home being like, I think I'm going to make a gin and basil tonight, <laughs> like muddling basil so, around. Yeah. The It was funny because he went from being completely fine. So, you know, Sean is lit when he doesn't shut the fuck up. And he was lit. Bro, he, I want to get you lit. Dude, it uh, was it was so funny. It's so... Keep, <laughs> put a tin in that one. Um, so, Sean is on a decline and we start the battle and he's just like oh man I'm, I, I think I drank too much or something you know like that I, and then, I, stopped, I stopped drinking right before the battle yeah just as like a heads up so we did three battles first battle he's totally fine he's like whatever uh, he, 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 talk, he mentioned that he's feeling a little bit schlitty but that was it second battle he's like I can't read I can't even read <laughs> <laughs> he's like he's like i can't read the screen that's, right that's now qu- that's quite an escalation yeah. of events it, 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 it was like fast. 15 minutes probably oh my god and then the dude. third battle he was just inhuman I, I he was not he was he kept like 
saying things that didn't were like non sequiturs. You would you would you had stopped drinking. That was the. So this is just, yeah, I mean, this, so is I just, had... this is just it kicking in. Mm. Yeah, you know, I, how much did you have to drink before that? Um, point? at at least half a bottle of gin, if not more. So what's seven fifty divided by two? Like, My guy, we need to hang out sometime. <laughs> we'll, we'll go through a whole. You want to make that a whole bottle of gin? We can make it happen. Yeah. Um, no, no, I was thinking. I was thinking. Sometimes though, sometimes though, if I'm going out drinking, I'll have like two or sometimes even like one drink and i'm and i'm like fucking feeling it dude i'm getting pretty drunk but then if i keep drinking i get to a point where i'm i don't want to say more sober from continuing to drink but like i am more in control and more i do not like, have that yeah it, it, it is like a bell curve for me where it's like whoa i'm drunk now and then all of a sudden it's like Oh, I'm like definitely more intoxicated, but like I'm like more in control of like my conversation and I am more present. I don't know if that makes sense at all. And then it goes right back down to being like, dude, you're fucking trashed. So like there's a, there's a real thin line you have to ride there. So I want to do a gray area. I don't, I, I don't drink. So like, I think that morning drinking is a little funky, but I, you know, obviously if you morning drink, like, you know, if it's a special occasion, right? Yeah, like exactly, it's, it's, exactly. There's, it's a holiday, it's an event and you do like an Irish coffee or you do a mimosa, yeah. or someone's birthday, you do, like, like that's perfectly fine. Right. But, like if you regularly drink in the exactly. morning, you are a fucking monster. Like, so I, yeah. he was too lit by like, Wait, what time I, is this? It was like 7 p.m. I think like 8. Okay. But, but okay. I, I did wake up at 6 a.m. still <laughs> drunk. Like I got, I I fell asleep on the couch because Haley didn't want me to sleep in bed because she said I just my sweat smelled like alcohol. <laughs> so I felt I slept on the couch and sitting up, mind you, she thought she was gonna call like the the ambulance or something because she was like, you were just sitting normally, but your eyes were closed. Yeah. And I and but then I woke up at six a.m. like I stumbled into the kitchen like, oh fuck. I'm, yeah. Okay. So I'm still fucked up. He. This is at about eight p.m. He's done drinking. Or no, sorry, the APM, we're done with the battle. And he is fucking on it, right? So it's about APM, maybe 8.15, and we're watching the last episode of Obi-Wan Kenobi with friends at 8.30. Like, oh, on, on the Discord or whatever. Dude, he, I don't think he remembered a single thing that fucking happened in that episode, because he was <laughs> talking a lot of the time, and he, he would go on tangents, I think, with himself. I don't so, remember any of that. It, really, so it was so the funny. The only thing, the only thing that I remember is blue, and I re, so I rewatched the episode when I was sober, because all I could, I, I woke up in the morning, and try not to spoil anything. No, I, no, 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 yeah. but I, I, re, all I could remember is like there was a lot of blue in that episode, and it's like one scene. Yeah, yeah, in, yeah. In the, It's just one scene, and I was like, oh fuck. It, it was so funny. We had people. I think it was a Joe gaslighting you, and maybe Evan. I know. I I remember vaguely Joe saying, "I'm just going to mute him." Yeah, he did. He did mute you because you wouldn't stop talking in the in the, in the climax scene. But um, no. But Evan climax the scene. The, the, it was just it was just Obi Wan and Vader just going at it. They were just clapping cheek, bro. It was pretty. It was pretty. Actually, pretty sick. Ewan McGregor is just a great fuck. Um, but um, so uh, I think Evan at one point was like. Cause, it, cause Sean asked like how many more minutes and then e Evan was like, ah, oh, it's been like 15 and then like 20 minutes would go, would go by and then Sean would be like, all right, how many minutes are left? And, and Evan would be like, ah, oh, it's only been like 15 minutes. And you just keep saying that every, every like, uh, set, set amount of time. It was so fucking funny. Cause Sean was actually be fully believing only 15 minutes went by each time. Oh, I remember I just had like a flashback where I said, like what happened to Joey and Ev was like, he left like only like 15 minutes ago. And I was like, no, he left yeah. during the battle. Yeah. And I was, I was so agitated because yeah. I knew yeah. that Joey had left when we were playing Pokemon, not star Wars. But Evan was like, dude, that was like 10 minutes ago. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then Sean is in his seat. He's, he keeps saying I'm halfway off my seat. Just adjust yourself. First of all, second of all, and he's like this. When, when, I, when I completely open, when I completely close like this, watching Obi-Wan Kenobi and talking the entire time. Bro, I'm not going to lie. You know, if I'm if I'm at a similar level of being intoxicated and you sit me down, like I am not standing, I will also probably. Well, I don't know. It depends. But sometimes I might like just drift off like that, too. Dude, it was so fucking funny. That was so fun. That was we Sunday night. He had work the next day, right? You had work <laughs> yeah, you had work the next out. day. Yeah. I called out. 
I was so <laughs> ill. I was so. I know. Ill. I know that. Like, I know that you don't drink, uh, Ben. So, like, no pressure at all. But if possible, we should do like a whole month where, or a whole like three episode arc where we each take turns getting like drunk on the episode I, like, I, at a time. I would be down. I, so, um, it's. <laughs> It's like I say that for me. I'm not doing that right now. Like yeah, this, yeah, yeah. That's this, this is not the time for me. It's but. a it's a pretty stupid reason why you don't drink. I mean, I've been tipsy once. I didn't really enjoy it too much. I I had a few. You're just not a fan. Yeah, I just just not an enormous fan. I uh, but, okay. but honestly, most of it is uh, I just I I ingest things for flavor and and if and the, the one time I was tipsy, it wasn't really enjoyable. So I was like, all right, I don't. You know, I I had a whole conversation with this with one of my um, uh, coworkers on my on my trip because there's a lot of alcohol involved, and you know, because uh, the conversation came up about like whiskey tasting, and I enjoy you know there there's I, I really enjoy the taste of gin I genuinely do. There are some beers now that I do enjoy the taste of, of gin, and I can get into a couple whiskeys, but it's very hard for me to be like a whiskey guy. You know what I mean? There's just certain there's just certain liquors where it's like I'm doing it, but I'm just doing it to get like drunk. Like I, it is it is about the outcome and not the process yeah, for certain. Yeah. For, I feel like that's how most people operate, though. Like, like at least half of, of people that drink alcohol don't do it because it tastes good. It's a means to an end. Yeah. Um, and I think that like, I feel like that's a really like problematic area when it comes to alcohol consumption. I, I don't know. Like I, I'm, I'm that way too with certain things, but I also can find it, time to enjoy the flavors as well. It, it, it's also like alcohol is a very acquired taste. Like that's I feel fair. like, I feel like very rarely is there an alcoholic beverage that like just some like random person who's never drank alcohol before can pick up and be like, that was very good. Mm. Um, and so like, you know, it's, it's how do you, how, I don't have an end to this conversation, but so, there's well, a lot, there's a stream of consciousness there. And you guys, I was smart for too long. Now dumb. Please, yeah, right. please finish so, line. Carry me now. So, um, for me, um, I, 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 I'm the times I'll drink, uh, if there's like a, some bitch beer and like a, like a twisted tea around or a, red cider i don't care for mm-hmm. twisted teas this uh, is not my thing i i, I just i i don't this it doesn't taste like alcohol that's why i like it um, sure um like, but if there's like a twisted tea or a red cider or something or even a mike's hard i'll be like okay i'll have one you know and that's it um or if i'm like at a party i'll have a i'll have a piss beer you know i'll have a miller light or something um, I feel like there are like certain cocktails that you that I could probably like recommend that you try that you'd probably be like it, it wouldn't yeah. even be about like getting drunk you'd probably just genuinely like enjoy an, an apple teeny with a mar marciano cherry tastes just like a Jolly Rancher like it, it's hmm. it's phenomenal. Um, I and would that's say a problem though, right? That's like that's you want to avoid that most of most of the time. Yeah, you? I mean, I would say my biggest thing is I. I think I'm an even blend of wanting the outcome of not being sober at, at, at some level. Not doesn't have, I don't have to get like fucked up like I did on yeah. Sunday, but um, but also flavor. So for instance, I don't drink any beers less than like eight percent generally, and then I try and find ones that I like in that range. That's a that's a, that's a weird rule to have, but I respect it. I just I just don't yeah because beers so, below so 8%. like. Cause, so I don't buy, so for instance, I've never bought Bud Light or any of the other stuff. I also avoid drinking those because I don't want it to be. Do you feel like it's a money wanna, thing? Do you feel like it's a waste no, of your money no, to be? I think, it's, I think it's like, I don't want it to be like a soda. I want it to be, you know, like people get dressed up to go on planes. I want it to be like, oh, I bought this like designed can a four pack for $16. Yeah. So you know, I, I think we, I think we talked about this once before when you brought out that specialty beer where it's like I do enjoy cocktails and liquor, but like I can go to like any bar on the country and find like cocktails with the same like mixes of, of liquor. Yeah. But like everywhere I go to has a differently like brewed beer. And I feel like we're on the same wavelength of like wanting to like try new things if we're going to different places. Like like it, it like because there's so like like alcohol is a very regional thing. Mm-hmm. It's 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 weird because it's not necessarily that way with food, right? Like no one's like, oh, you can only get like this sandwich in Milwaukee. You know what I mean? Like it, it, people don't gatekeep. Like, I think like, especially referring to like 
tequila can only be produced in Mexico. If you did the exact same process in like um, West Virginia, it could not legally be called tequila. Mm. Or mm. yeah, so there's certain stuff like that where like um, I think like like scotch is a type of whiskey, but you can only call it scotch if it's made in Scotland. You know what I mean? There's mm. certain yeah. stuff, and the same thing mm. with like wine in France and stuff like that, where it's like that. it's 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 um. It's weird that we only do that with like liquor and like beverages and not like food or like anything else that we consume. Yeah. But I have, I have, a, I feel like that's because of prohibition, where everyone had like had to lay claim sort of to their own underground shit, and then when it became legal, <laughs> they were like, "Hey, this is the illegal shit we've been drinking." Yeah, kind of certainly. But but I do feel like we're on the same wavelength though. Of like we're going out. Like obviously, we're putting an effort to like go out somewhere, and we, what we want to get out of that is not only like getting drunk, but also if we're if we're going to be doing all this effort to go out and get drinks, I want to try something new. Yeah, I want to. I mean, something. like I want to, I want to challenge my palate a little bit. You know, if I want to sound pretentious about it, but um, the the only time I've had, I don't want it to sound. The only time I've had beer less than like eight percent is like Haley and I have gone to this Indian restaurant near us and then a, a Thai restaurant near us. And both times, uh, and a Korean restaurant near us, and all three times I go like, "Do you have any import like alcohol? Like, do you have Korean based things mm. or whatever?" Like, we went to a Thai restaurant for our anniversary, and I specifically asked for Thailand has like two country beers, that's Singha and some other one, um, and, but it's like it's like the beer of Thailand type thing. And I was there's like, a okay, fucking, well, there's a fucking import beer that I." used to buy all the time i used to live right next to like this ramen shop that i would visit all the time and they had a bunch of the import beers that i knew the names of off the, t- off the back of my hand and now i'm blanking out on all of them i, I want to say the name that pops up for one of them is akira but that's definitely an anime and not a movie, a anime. beer yeah, yeah that's def- anime, yeah yeah, that's definitely – someone definitely knows what I'm talking about. It's like a Asian import beer. It's a, like a tall um, metal can, but they also sell them in like those bottles too. And it starts with an A, and it has like the graphic font on it and everything. Like someone knows exactly what I'm talking about. I just cannot fucking remember for the life of me the name of it. Um, I want something – if it's low alcohol or something, I want something – my mom used to say um, – she'd been to Japan before. She used to say sake tastes like socks. Is what she would say. Oh, I don't That's think so. Bad. I've had I've had talk it a few is, times. It is just a it's just a little bit racist. It's like not like because it's like you can not like it and that's perfectly fine. And like saying something tastes like socks is something that like it sounds know, pretty like it feels yeah, well, like, like, like saying something tastes like socks is like a pretty common insult for like food that tastes bad. And I get like sake sounds like socks. So like it probably isn't, but just but just <laughs> it, it making it off that way. But yeah, making it, it making like it, it rhyme and having it be about like Asian food is like something about that. Just, yeah, is uh, just right but, there. Just the wrong tone away. She used to say that to like discourage me when I was younger. Like, oh, you know, when you grew up, mm. like whatever. But like, I to be honest, if I was at a restaurant and someone was like, yo, this is like mm-hmm. a classic Japanese drink. It tastes like shit. It'll burn your nose. It smells like socks. I'm like, dude, I'm in. You know what I mean? I wanted to get a shot of that. Or, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I kind of, if someone's like, this is sock, this is, it, we didn't make it with corn. We have fermenting socks in the vat and it's making me alcohol. <laughs> like, other people drink it? Uh, as long as someone drinks it well, first. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'll do to be it. fair, there's a, there's a, there's a pretty famous like urban legend about this, about, you know, like, um, you know, you go into a, uh, a Michelin star restaurant in France and then, you know, you enjoy the meal only to find out that like a rat was controlling the chef the whole time. Um, and, and then, you know, people often feel disgusted. However, it's, it's, you know, they're not open-minded. They're not open to new experiences and you should really just taste the goddamn rat food at Mm. that point. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, I just wanted to, um, to, to, to close this, um, convo podcast down. Uh, When did, when did I, I had like half a bottle of gin within like 30 or 40 minutes like it wasn't even jesus christ dude yeah. jesus christ well hold on i know i know uh, ben here is trying to wrap this conversation up but uh, can i just ask guys, really go quick ahead. what go ahead I'm, we're taking over the we're taking over the podcast baby this is apple and gin <laughs> apple and gin apple boys come on now not a new mean, Papa dude. Dude. um what brand of gin is this what like what so, type of so it was it was a mix i had a quarter of a bottle a i had a quarter of a bottle of ethereal gin I've never heard of that. 
Um, and I don't know if it's like local or not because I had never heard of it until I moved here. And then I had Bombay Sapphire. Okay, I'm familiar with Bombay. So I, I drank a quarter of each of those. Oh, and because I remember we were we were playing some game, right? Before I don't remember that much. I think it was Pokemon. I think no, you guys before, were playing Pokemans. Before the Pokemon, we were doing something. I was streaming to Elden Ring. I think. Oh, I was watching him play Elden Ring. And, um, <laughs> you were handed a controller with no batteries and said, you're playing Elden Ring tonight. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then I was like, okay, well, now I'm going to start drinking. It's because it, it was 730 was when we were supposed to battle or something like that or eight. And I was at 730. We duel. Yeah. And we, so I just I just started drinking and then the battle was about to start. And I was like, okay, well, I should definitely stop now because I've had a I didn't keep track of the bottle volume i just i poured like three or four drinks but i looked up different drinks and then just doubled the gin which was the problem yeah so like it would be like quarter you don't cup. say it, yeah you, you don't say that that was the problem it, it was like quarter cup gin half i'm cup here gin for it beer. though and i'm I was just like fucking half cup it. half cup dude and it just yeah, I just wanted to, because I, I, I don't have much input, obviously, on the alcohol conversation, because I don't drink really at all, and I don't really enjoy drinking when I do drink, but I gotta say, some of the best times I've had um, were, were inclusive of, al- you know, alcohol was included, where I would sure. have, you know, a, a twisted tea or some some drink, some, like, minor drink, and I would, and I would uh, uh, play uh, fucking Sonic Adventure in Brian's basement, and, and and try to get you know because 100 percent that game you need to do like fucking speed runs and shit and just doing that and do, doing that with a twisted tea in you and brian probably had some fucking game yeah. or something in him all that shit and you you talked about uh sean you talked about i think episode two or something you you talked about how you would get fucking <laughs> wasted boozed up, boozed up yeah fucking roasted on uh on mike's hard mike's hard mike for and, mario and, baseball and yeah. Mario Bosco, yeah okay yeah. Well, my, the reason Mike's heart is good is because it you can chug it is what I was, yeah. was going to yeah. like try and like cycle through it. But I was like, yeah. you just flip the cap open, you turn it down. It's, it's literally you don't even taste the alcohol. There's so much yeah. sugar and you're like three bottles in and you're like, wow, I think I just drank three bottles in five minutes. That's what makes me feel like shit. Yeah, Mike's. I haven't drank a Mike's Hard in a very long time, but I used to steal them from gas stations before I was Let's twenty-one go. because it was the only thing I could do. Dude, we, um, me and my um, like girlfriend at the time, we would do this thing where uh, we, Circle K's are gas stations around here. Dude, and um, I have a fucking thing to say about Circle K's. It pisses me off. Go ahead. Why is that so? Okay. Um, well, it's like a west. It's like a West Coast like a Southwest thing. So like they're in like LA too. So like, um, they've been in movies. Like there's, um, you know, Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. Yeah. Yeah. It? There's a, there was a scene literally shot at a circle K that's like 30 minutes from my house. Ooh. That was there where Keanu Reeves is like, there's something strange afoot at the circle K. Mm. Um, but, um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, like the there's the um like one of the main roads by my house just has a, a Circle K gas station on it like every other like intersection and we would literally just get in our car and stop at every Circle K gas station and try to buy alcohol until one of them said yes and by and large one of them would have said yes. There's like 10 of them in a row in like a like a few mile radius and it's just like it just depends on who was working there mm. that night. You would just mm. ask everyone. Um Circle K's are, I have a beef with Circle K, Circle K as a brand. So when Halo Infinite first came out, they had a, a, uh, Oh yeah, Circle I actually K know where promotion. this is going. I actually know where this is going. Where you Go could ahead. get a black and gold Razorback skin. If you bought the Circle K specific Halo oh, Rockstar. Yeah, yeah, Evan yeah. and I drove <laughs> about an hour to a Circle K in Connecticut. They didn't have any. There I'm a, surprised they had a Circle K in Connecticut. I know they had. There's a Circle K by where Alexis lives, so I went there just to check. They didn't have any either. It's a lie. It's not a real promotion. <laughs> it's a remember, fucking lie. Do you remember um, how Halo Infinite was supposed to come out a year before it did, and they started doing their like marketing? They, they put out double XP codes in mm-hmm. stores mm-hmm. in preparation for it oh, coming yeah. out, but then it yeah. got delayed. And on monster so, like, and shit, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the, exactly, the monster cans. So they were supposed to put those monster cans in like all the Circle K gas stations around me and all the grocery stores. And then they announced the game was delayed, but they were still running the, the campaign where you could get those codes. 
And I would look at like every gas station, every grocery store around where I live and I couldn't find it. And it was at the point where I gave up until I was on a random road trip. And I think I was driving. I went like past Cottonwood, Arizona. And it was like the middle of nowhere. I don't even remember where I was driving to. I just remember it was hours outside of like any kind of major city yeah. in the middle of the desert. Yeah. And I walk into this gas station to like pee and I shit you not. There's a big halo like mural That's on the back sick. of the wall. And there's like a seven foot cardboard cut out of mm. Master Chief, like holding his like rifle yeah. and everything. And Sorry, there's just stacks of cans. Yeah. I had given up. Mm. I'd given up mm-hmm. on and trying the to find these halo cans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it was just like everyone who goes to this gas station must be so fucking confused like none of them probably understand yeah, yeah. like what halo infinite is or and here i am yeah the population the population 30 of that town there's one fucker who plays halo and he's like this is yeah this the, the owner of that the operator of that one circle k gas station yeah um, yeah so fuck circle k i went there it took an hour to get there i uh instead of getting a rock star i got in one of those fucking shitty Saw fucking hot dogs that look like fucking bread. Oh no, don't eat those. Yeah, they. It was, I know it, people it that bad. swear by them. I know people that swear by them. And then the um, I don't know if they have them out where you're at too, but where because you know obviously Arizona is the Southwest, so they have the hot dog rollers, but then they also have like little taquitos. Yep, little like I got one of those too. Things in I have yeah, a picture yeah. of that on my Twitter. I'm pretty sure, but absolute ass i got also got the fucking i got an oreo cowtail that was the only good thing i got from that place and then we we uh, i don't need i don't i don't don't need any of that shit and we heard what i thought was a shooting like a drive-by shooting on the way home so that's pretty fun um i think it was actually might have been just been like highway noises but it to me i was i swear at the time that it was a um, circle circle k's are like um they're pretty like they're like an iconic gas station brand out here like you like you know what like when you drive by a circle k it's like they all look still like they're yeah. from the 70s yeah. and then you walk in and it has the like lighting that you know and everything um but the gas station that like people love out here are they're called qt's which pause there's several different gas station chains across america called qt's that are very different things oh. and if you're from the southwest you know or like i'm, I'm sure they're definitely outside of arizona for sure but like the if you're in Arizona, you know what I mean when I say QT. They make like the they're always clean. They pay everyone like really well. Mm. Um, they like make really good food and they have like really like surprisingly good coffee. It's oftentimes like better than like going to a Starbucks for some stuff. It's um, called QTs, you said? Like is it like QT, letters? Yeah. Yeah, just QT. Huh. Um, that's it. There's I don't think it's an acronym for anything. Hmm. I'm sure it was at one point, but it's not I know there's like quick trip. Um oh. like it's like a, a brand it's it, it may be i don't fucking know I, I don't want to pretend like i know but like i've i've read somewhere with that like the the brand of qts that i go to are like studied by like business schools and stuff for like yeah. how well ran they are um yeah it's, it's fucking i dude they're, i'm a corporate chill i'm a corporate chill we were not sponsored by gas stations when I went, you want to know who else is a corporate chill what happened a fucking bird just hit my window dude really <laughs> I don't have it. I just thought there's just like a slight like mark of an outline. I just heard something hit my window and there's a slight mark that wasn't there before. I mean, I don't see a bird, so I don't know. But like I first death on the podcast. Let's fucking go, go. dude. Dude. I have, I have a video somewhere that I saved from like my my second death on thing. the podcast. <laughs> Shoot the cat. I was man. stuck. I was stuck in a. Um, I'm sure I can find it somewhere. Although I'm, I I think I sound very annoying in the video. Um, of we, we, it, it was like monsoon season here in Arizona, and mm. I had I was living in an apartment at the time, and I I like tree branches were falling over and getting swept over, and I watched a pigeon like fall out. I was like just like randomly recording the storm, and a fucking pigeon falls from the tree and like flops over, and the tree like lands back on top. Of it. Oh my god! <laughs> and I was not prepared for it at all. Well. Fuck! God! Oh no! Um, I have a, yeah, I'll, I'll, I don't know what hunt for it when I'm here, yeah, but yeah, it yeah. exists somewhere. Um, dude, <laughs> I, I, my favorite kind of like, I've been watching. Okay, so you know when something happens that there was like such a close 
Okay. It's like you were so close to dying or something, you know, something was so close to happening that you just missed. Experiences, yeah. So, uh, I've been watching, uh, just, I, I don't know. It just YouTube, you know, YouTube homepage influences what I watch constantly. Um, but I've been watching like some jackass stuff. People just talk, jackass people talking, Steve's podcast, people having whatever. Um, and it's crazy how often on that, obviously when they're doing all that stupid shit, how often they come close to death. Like one of the guys got bit by a shark, Johnny Knoxville, uh, he, he was like, supposed to go on a rocket and the, one of the part, uh, parts of the rocket like flew by and almost decapitated somebody. Dude. Uh, when I, when I was in high school, I was helping, uh, some buddies with a, um, uh, a school project. It was a video project about the physics of airsoft guns <laughs> and the flashbang wasn't going off. You, you un, un, think the flashbang threw it on the ground of a driveway. It wasn't going off. You know, about 45 seconds go by and we're just kind of all just waiting for it to go off. And it finally goes off, blows up and the, the, some like cylinder flies six inches by one of my buddy's heads. And hits the, the hits the house and leaves a hole in the house. Would have done serious damage to this guy. But it's like, how the fuck did it not just hit him? Like, I am. Um, why does it always manage to not do it? You know, well, it, doesn't, it doesn't always manage to not do it. That's the fucking. That's the thing you have to keep in mind. I don't. I don't know if he would even remember this story. So I feel bad saying it because I was so young. But mm. when I when I was younger and we were living in West Virginia, my parents had a pretty like core friend group in our neighborhood, and they would do like bonfires all the time. Um, first of all, and this is not the story I'm getting into. I distinctly remember one time um, someone had like an air horn for whatever reason and like used all of it and threw the compressed air horn on the fire and it blew up and yeah, like burnt what so, like some one of their children's like legs got burnt and they needed yeah. to take them to like um the not ER the hospital but like yeah just yeah. somewhere to get treated smack um, <laughs> but like one time we were having this bonfire like in our neighborhood and they're just lighting off fireworks and my dad's been like drinking like pretty heavy the whole night <laughs> these are like bootleg fireworks too like you'd always yeah. have to like drive cross state lines back on the east coast to like go to the states that have like the good fireworks mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. hope they don't like state id you um and they're, they're these like they're the i don't know they're not bottle rockets but they're ones that just like shoot and they're not the big explosion yeah, 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 like, I know exactly corporate ones but they're a little smaller yeah, thing yeah. and he's, he's just lighting them off and this one's a dud and he's like <laughs> going back up and lighting it, going back up, lighting it. He finally gets one lit and it like falls over and it shoots and it goes like, I'm not even joking, like this close by mm -hmm. my head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then yep. it hits a house behind us. That was mm -hmm. none of ours. Yep. Yep. <laughs> it just blows up on their window. <laughs> and we all like stop pretty quickly. But I remember as a kid being like, you know, I'm sure honestly, like getting hit by a firework like hurts and probably could be very dangerous. But I think like I would have been, been fine. You been fine. Yeah, yeah, I don't. <laughs> Dude, that that reminds me of we had we were waiting for one of our buddies to get to a party and it, it was like 11 p.m. And we're like, bro, we're going to like wrap this up in like four to five hours anyway. You might as well not even come. But he, he showed up like 11 or 12, maybe. And um, we had those ones that you go like this and it just pew, and it just shoots a, mm. shoots a rocket out. We were just shooting him at him. And he was freaking the fuck out because he had no idea what was going yeah. on. Because it was so, obviously dark. It was pink, 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 and it would be freaking out. It was so funny. So, like, around the same, around the same time period in my life, the, a game that like them and their friends would play in our neighborhood was to get those like smoke bombs and light it and like throw it out car windows at yeah. people that are just like hanging out. And yeah. for, they would do this to each other, obviously. Yeah, like, because yeah. West Virginia people would just be hanging out on their fucking driveways, drinking all day. That's just what people do. It's like very King of the Hill esque and um you know like they would drive by light the uh smoke bomb and throw it out and i remember um a couple of people got pissed because it left like a mark on the sidewalk or whatever but one time we were hanging out and someone tried to do that to us and they missed and it like fell beneath their car seat and the thing is you throw it you roll up your window and you drive away was how they would do it and so they <laughs> i just remember as a kid watching them try to throw it, it like thinking down there and then rolling up the window and their car filling with smoke and just hearing the wife go ah! <laughs> just <laughs> yeah, in the, right. the passenger side seat of the car it's it the most stupid shit i've ever seen those can fuck up your eyes those are really really bad yeah to no be i'm sure that near. wasn't fun yeah yeah um dude i 
it was so funny when uh, you know because in Connecticut you can't get good fireworks. You got to I think you got to go to Mass to get good fireworks. No, you no because now Matt, there's recently a story where a guy got like arrested for bringing over a bunch of fucked up fireworks. Yeah, I think you weren't supposed to, but <laughs> I, I, I I seem to remember that being where the people went. Either way, um, yeah, I don't have to they Google still it. were never that good. I don't. I I mean, in my experience, they still were never that good. Maybe they were just the, the, the least the less dangerous of the fireworks. I used to know people that would drive down to Mexico for good fireworks and bring illegal fireworks across the Mexican border because they're looking for drugs. And also yeah. let's be real. If you're white, you don't get looked at nearly as hard yeah. crossing the border, but they had these big like pinwheel fireworks that just like would just spin and shoot sparks <laughs> everywhere just constantly. Yeah. And they'd have these big, big boomy boys and they would go down to Mexico to buy fireworks and drive back up. And it was pretty fun. Yeah. I, I, I uh, set a, a firework is actually on video. I set a firework, um, uh, well, they were, they were they were just like the little kid ones, but the ones that spin and the ones that just like go, and then that's my exact uh, interpretation of what they say. And uh, then there was, I think it was like five or six sparklers that were old, like years and years old. Yeah, and they expire after a certain point. They don't sparkle, so I lit them, and it still go, this still goes down fairly slowly. The uh, the fire, the flame, and I just put it on his driveway, thinking it would spark. And be normal. I just there's a permanent mark on the, this man's driveway. When I was a, when I was a when I was a kid, my my grandparents had like a bunch of those sparklers just lined up like in their backyard just for fun to have them all like they're like long. Mm. They're like pretty thick. I don't want to say industrial size sparklers because that's a ridiculous concept. But they're like thick things that are meant to last a bit longer than stake in the ground. And uh, I, as a kid, for whatever reason, thought I was going to be helpful and start cleaning them up. And I just grabbed one like right after it was done, like just hand fist on the metal rod. Mm. Yeah, that was not a fun idea. Yeah, yeah. Um, almost started a uh, wildfire in Arizona when right. I was in high school. Oh, I right. didn't. I was out in the, you know, me and my friends uh, bought like a bunch of fireworks and we just drove like under this bridge where like no one would really see us too much. And we were just lighting fireworks and like throwing them up way up in the air, watching them boom up and fall back down or whatever. And it was all pretty maintained. Like, sure. Yeah. We were lighting fireworks in a desert setting. Obviously there was always bound to be a risk, but me and my one friend were doing a pretty good job at like controlling it where we Mm -hmm. are, but because we're throwing it in the air, one of my friends just, instead of throwing it up, like like in a trajectory that would boom in the air, like right in front of us, just like baseball pitch throws it. And um, it like goes around the hill and it booms. And we're like, Oh, Oh, and then like, you know, time passes like a minute or two. And then we just noticed there's like a bit of a flicker of lights down where he did that at. And we were like, uh, well, yeah, well. <laughs> we had no water on us. We just went and so we literally just started throwing rocks on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stomping on it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it worked, but that was not me. It was someone else that I knew. Dude. <sighs> dude fireworks are fucking fun. It's unfortunate. I think I'm a pyromaniac. That's just, that's just like a thing I want to no, say. No, no, no. Let the silence stay. Just, just say that and zoom in and yeah. Just get, just get real close. I, I, well, I, I right, uh, take two. I, I think I'm a pyromaniac. Okay, take three. I can't. I can't not smile. Please, I can't not smile. Please, please keep both takes. I, I love the idea of just like we're constantly <laughs> talking about cutting content and redoing it, and it's all just live. Yeah. So uh, when I was, I went to my buddy's house when I was uh, much younger and I was like acting like I was smoking something. It was my one friend. Like a, like a cigarette. He's from a different school. You wouldn't know. Uh, for, like I was like smoking like a cigarette or like a blunt or something. Like just as a joke. And uh, and I would like, I just lit like a piece of normal like printer paper in his basement. And I got in a lot of trouble from his parents um, because I just lit a piece of paper on fire in the basement with no like sink or anything around. Um, but I just love it. I like just setting th- things on fire. Yeah. I have that little childish part of my brain too. I think as I've gotten older, it subsided a little bit, but I'm not going to lie. Monkey brains still like fire. Right. Yeah. Know? Right. Is it, Mon- it's, monkey brains still like boom. It's normal yeah. to a degree. Right guys. Right guys. Yeah. hundred percent guys. Right. Right. Yeah. Good. That's good. Good. That's good. That's good. So, like, um, when I, I think I, about like, Burning like houses down. That's also like a normal thing. <laughs> That's oh uh, Ben. Probably, just yeah, do the, like eighties <laughs> like seventies theme. Um 
Okay, so my uh, Sunday was really the biggest day for me. Um, we played a lot of. We played Elden Ring on Sunday. We played it for like six or seven hours on, on it's Sunday. It's actually really liking the game. It's very fun. The seamless co-op makes the game a lot more fun. I told you about this last time. It's seamless co-op ma- is make, makes it so you don't have to deal with invasions and PvP. It's just all PvE. <laughs> so much better. Actually, so much better. Game is fucking great. Um, uh, and then I got this pop filter on Wednesday or Tuesday. Oh yeah, hell yeah, and dude. I don't. It it's not the right pop filter. I looked up RE twenty pop filter. It is not the right pop filter. Also, I think there are a few pieces of information. Speaking of my microphone, that I I said let's put a pin in in episodes two and three. I was right about to say yeah. Okay. We had a whole thing where you were like, oh, I want to te- I want to talk about this so microphone just, on the podcast, and you forgot about it. I don't think it's going to be a big. I don't think it's going to be a big topic. I'm a, I'm an audiophile to a degree. Certain things I don't understand, like what sounds different from what like. A what? A pedophile? What'd you say, Sean? <laughs> um, uh, like I don't get like certain like tones and shit and like a high pass filter, low pass. None of that. None, a lot of that shit doesn't make sense to me. But I know what microphones sound. High pass good. filter and low pass filter are pretty like normal terms. Right. I, there's like bass and uh, stuff. I, I get it. But compression, um, uh, EQ static. EQ static. No, so look, look you're making you're making it seem more complicated than it is. It's just the high pass high pass filters just eliminate super high frequencies, frequencies so it makes everything sound spacey, and then a low pass filter yeah. eliminates lower frequencies. Right. So like that's that's also typically how you get like the radio style voice too, is yeah. by putting on like a low pass filter because yeah. it's just the high shit. Yeah. So hey guys, welcome to Ben's pod. Yeah. Ben and Zach's pod. This is a blue Yeti microphone. It has a wonderful two dollar pop filter that I bought years ago that is perfectly fine, honestly. Yep. And um It's a what color is the blue yeti? Is it look at that? This is my it's, microphone. It's, black. it's, it's, it's got a, a little setup. It's got a free sound foam that Ben gave me a fuckload of that has yeah. like mold on it. Yep. Dude, I just yeah. Zip tied it around. Yeah. Yep, that is that is his setup. So this microphone is about uh, I think like five hundred dollars right now, or yeah. four hundred dollars right now. Um, I got it because I wanted to. I was using the microphone behind me for a while because I always wanted to use a shotgun microphone, and it was fine. I like this one more. Um, I think that uh, raw audio. I think that one actually sounded a little bit better, like it would capture more. This one, after audio uh, filters and stuff, I think this one sounds better. Um, Does it have to go into an interface or a mixer at all? Yeah, yeah. It, it goes okay. into an X, a Xenix Q802 USB. I think that's what cool. it's called. Um, See, I, I would I would like a setup like that, and honestly, I still might at some point. Like, I've actually been looking at that exact microphone I, I, I have in the, in the past and everything. Yeah. My issue with, like, setting up audio interfaces and getting the stand and everything my underneath my desk is such a rat's nest of wires already mm-hmm. i don't want to deal with like more shit to like worry about plugging in there right now yeah the the, the reason the reason i got so this is a 120 dollar a mic stand the reason it's 120 dollars is a because it's supposed to be silent even though clearly we've we know it's not and b the the it comes with a xlr inside of the wire you need a um, shock stabilizer. If I you do. Want to eliminate it that is sound. A, for this microphone is a hundred dollars and it is enormous. Yeah, yeah, no, they're huge. They're these yeah. big cages around yeah. the, the yeah. thing. Yeah, that is exactly what I need, and I, I can't. Like, I, I, I want to get it, but I cannot use that for everyday use because my it'll just completely You'd block be my right monitor. Your face. Yeah. yeah. Um, your pretty little face, Ben. Who would be able exactly. to see it? I, 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 I'm wearing on my beard and shit, dude. You wouldn't even be able to see that. Um, Dude, speaking of beards, I get so look at how fucking like uneven and like patchy oh, right at the fucking bottom, beard yeah. grows, grows mine's, in, dude. Mine's pretty even, uh, other than the cheeks. The cheeks get a little bit fucky, but I mean they're I even on the cheeks, but they're thin. Because I, I don't like the way that I look clean shaven and all. Like I'd have to get like if I was to do clean shaven again, I would want to get like significantly, significantly more dude. in shape. I like the way I look with facial hair, but like, dude, the facial hair suits you a hundred percent. I've seen, I, 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 yeah, I, I, I can't like. It grows in pretty good in certain places, but like it is super yeah. spotty. Like, right? Yeah. Like, I, I don't know how to fix that. Yeah, Sean. Uh, Sean, both of you guys are much better looking with facial oh, hair. Wow, dude, I actually really like myself clean shaven. Yeah, dude. you look like shit like, clean shaven, dude. It's actually dude, awful. Dude, dude, Sean, if if you were clean shaven, you could be a Mister Beast impersonator. 
Mm, you think so? I think so. He's got the haircut. He's got the eyebrows. Wait, he's wait, got the do, face do, structure. Do your best. Do you, do you know any Mr. Beast like uh, ropes? I'm rich. That is it. That is something that he does say. <laughs> a bunch. Dude, Mr. Beast, does he do a clean shaven or does he have a goatee? He has a goatee. Okay, well, let me, hold on. You know what? Why don't I just? Why don't I look up? Can we do a side by side comparison, Ben? Can you face I'm app him? <laughs> can you face app no. him? Oh, with I, a would. I could. I could. And compare it to yeah. Mr. Beast because yeah. I feel like you pick a picture of Mr. Beast. I'll go shave. What's what's something that you'll Mr. do? It, you'll you'll you will genuinely shave and do that. You, you, well, you do that for the it, thing. It, it depends on what picture he chooses because if it's if it's too much, like if it's like I can do a goatee. But if it's some kind of crazy, I'm just looking up Mr. Beast. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe he does have a beard now. I think it's a very light, like a like a thin. Oh, he does like a he does like a weird like floating goatee. Yeah. Um. How does he? He talks like this, right? He's like, or like, I told my friends that I was going to kill them for five hundred thousand dollars, and they said <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? <laughs> My friend suffered a panic attack. <laughs> I'm looking at pictures of Mr. Beast. He has the most like bizarre facial hair. It looks good on him, but like I don't think I've ever seen like this cut. It's like a Is goatee, it? but like the bottom and top part are detached in this like weird. But he grows it like all underneath. It's so. Hmm. I spent the life of my wife and kids for five hundred thousand dollars, and they wanted the money. He moves you know his arms a lot. Am I am I wrong? Yeah. I, I haven't watched no, Mr. Beast. I don't know. He's it. definitely like a cut jumpy. Yeah. Type like I, I feel like um I feel like a hundred five hundred thousand dollars is nothing to Mr. B. You know he fucking you know about the, the you know fucking like, Ukraine thing? You know, he's, you know what he did with Oh what the fuck? He did something with Ukraine? Dude. Yeah, he fucking bombed them, dude. <laughs> no, no. No, this is fucking actually Mr. B's like, bombs Ukraine is my new children's <laughs> book. It's available for pre-order. I, I want to make that the title, but that would not bode well. <laughs> that would actually be pretty good. He he fucking wanted to help Ukraine, but the supply chain to get like uh charity stuff or send like goods and services to Ukraine was like blocked. Like he was having a lot a hard time getting uh, like um, I don't, I don't, it wasn't even clearance, but he was having a hard time trying to send stuff to Ukraine. So he made his own company, bought like ships and got licenses, and directly shipped stuff to Ukraine with his own money. Like he yeah. didn't go, like he he completely organized an entire trade route to, to help Ukraine. It. And I'm like, what How much money fuck? do you have to have, right? Oh, well, apparently, not. I don't think he has that much. I think because, like, he said something like his profit. He makes a ridiculous amount of money, but everything he makes, he likes to reinvest back That's into. Yeah. And he's, like, putting every government to shame by doing, like, I think he may, like, I don't, I have to imagine Mr. that. Mr. Like, Beast puts the United States government to shame <laughs> is now the new working <laughs> title of this episode. That Mr. sounds Beast like. Shames America, bombs Ukraine. <laughs> that sounds like degrading. To Mr. Beast, and I think actually that's like a good title because we're not we're not really degrading Mr. Beast. We're actually no, no. We're Mr. Mr. Beast is. Uh, I don't personally watch like everything that he does because he's a little bit too. I don't think I'm the target audience for Mr. Beast. No. I respect what he does. I respect the way he does like um, business. I wish, and, I wish he would have paid my student loans, but that's it. Dude. That's true. Oh my dog wants yeah, to get my room. Yeah, what Mr. Beast. What the, the what the what the freak, dude? My dog was scratching at my door. I'm like, what the fuck does my dog want? She's nauseous. And what she does when she's nauseous is she, she licks the floor and licks like plastic and shit up off the floor. So I'm like, okay, so I need to deal with this now because she's going to make herself choke and die. So I just gave her some uh, some some raw pumpkin and some mm-hmm. kibble. Some raw pumpkin. Ben, please put the fucking um, like motorcycle, like Mr. Burnside picture of, of Sean that he just posted in himself before I before the one before I posted the second Mr. Beast picture. Please put that in on post. Please ah! just let that sink in for, for a second. Wait, let me see. I'm can. tempted to do that again. Haley did not like that. I can't imagine Haley. she would. But I okay, I'm not gonna lie, the last one, the last one, like I'm not gonna say the P word, but you look like you no, would I upset agree. at me. I you look not- like you would get upset at me at a bookstore or something. <laughs> I don't know. Um, the first I, one though is so ridiculous. I think it's funny. I like that. Yeah, I feel like if I did that a little cleaner, I could maybe pull it off. Because like if I kept the hair a little bit higher on the cheek, you know what I mean? Like I could do, I could do the like thing. 
I don't know. You might have a bit rounder of a face than Mr. Beast, but I like that, especially the way that your hair cut is right now. I I, I have a good feeling you could pull yeah, it off. I could probably pull it if, off if you if you really tried. Hey, but, but the thing is, Mr. Beast isn't ugly, Sean, <laughs> so I don't understand how you're gonna get. <laughs> That's so crazy, dude. Mr. Beast, uh, at least Mr. Beast and I have um, properly distanced eyes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, all right, uh, is that kind so of we get th- dark here again? And I don't have the fucking, um, I don't have any kind of additional lights set up here. I literally got off the plane, drove. Oh, home. here, hold so, on, dude. Let me, let me. No, just, this uh, doesn't. We did this last time. We did. Yeah, made- there you go. Now your face is brighter. Yeah, you're all now you're light, light up with a Coca Cola ad at the top. Too. Yo, yo, crazy that that's working though, right? Oh, like, man, yeah, it's enough. totally changing. <laughs> so uh, I have, a, I have a funny thing, Zach, that I'd like to tell you. My, my buddy I hate jokes. It's. The, Luckily, it it is a joke you know in the sense that it's I'm stupid. Joking. Hold on, do you I'm know what's really? Do you know what's really crazy? I can't show you, but I never took the plastic off of my camera. Oh, interesting. And Zach's got a vape. No, this is a <laughs> no, glade. For plug-in. Free. <laughs> no, this is a glade plugin that I bought because I was like, oh, that's cheap, and I didn't realize you needed to buy the actual glade plugin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Someone's doing have- whip bits over here. Um. <laughs> oh god no oh yeah you're gonna you're actually gonna get fucked up all right so i have a friend that we just talked to zach that you'd love this and i i don't i don't think you're an argumentative guy maybe i'm wrong I, well i like to get into so uh, if we're in a debate about something i like to like play devil's advocate and like yeah. push buttons but i don't yeah. like to get angry at people i don't like to like actually cause okay well, that's that's that's, that's kind of what i figured right we have a friend that uh was just talking about burger king while we were playing gta and we all know Burger King is kind of the lowest of the low when it comes to fast food chains. Like, you know, like must, if you if there were three right, you know, three food uh, fast food chains, if it was a Burger King, Wendy's, and McDonald's, all right next to one another, it would be the last one to go to. I think for most I know people. people that would disagree with that, but I yeah. personally like would agree. So that. he got into a screaming match with us first of all unrelated about what was that movie called american psycho american psycho because he was like this kid is posting memes about american psycho without seeing american psycho first and i'm like that is the least important thing in the on the fucking planet to be screaming he's getting into a screaming match with us because we're like that's so stupid and then he he talks about how he ooh, good looks dude the little hair on the side too um and then he I'm, talks I'm about uh Burger King being a great deal, but I'm like, yeah, but Burger King is shit, and he's screaming. I have a, I have a theory about Burger King, but I'm gonna let you finish this story he's first. Fucking screaming at us, and he's going ham. And he's like, what the fuck are the McDonald's apple pies? And he's like, the McDonald the McDonald's uh, chicken nuggets are overrated, or not overrated, over um over uh overpriced. He's he's screaming at us, and he starts at, at some point. He starts hitting his desk, his little feeble desk, and every time he hits his desk, out with, dude, dude, it's so Where funny. Oh, he's also been uh, ba- banned or muted on yeah, Overwatch. Yeah, he, he got he got muted on Overwatch for be- for toxic behavior recently, um, five days ago actually, because he has two days left. Um, but he's he's slamming his desk, and every time he slams his desk, his internet connection gets a little bit worse. So he starts sounding like a robot every time he slams his desk. And you can just hear like beer bottles of like glass just flying around on his desk because he's slamming it. <laughs> Dude, it was so fucking funny. He's getting so mad because he he thinks that like B- Burger King is better than Wendy's and McDonald's. And I'm like, that's mm. an insane thing to say. I will say we, we had this conversation about McDonald's cheeseburgers. Yeah. <laughs> I will say that Burger King maybe has a beefier burger it has a beefier burger than mcdonald's for sure and i could see that being more appealing mcdonald's has that unique taste and i feel like you can't replicate yada yada we've talked about this before however i have an economic theory i have a financial theory that ties into burger king i don't understand well i I don't think this is gonna money isn't real Money isn't real. Right, we'll start okay. I can prove it to you. I can prove it to you scientifically okay. through the process of deduction. Okay. <clears throat> how, how do we live in a society 
where gas we has do. doubled. We, in- <laughs> we do put just uh, put the put the uh, picture of Sean back yeah. up again, but this time with the meme <laughs> captions. We live in a society. <laughs> I'm giving you too much work. Um, fuck. So I don't understand how gas prices can double in a year. How rent can like go up by thirty percent in in America in like yeah. a year. Wow. Yet Burger King. Can Stay. still sell yep, ten, ten nuggets. piece chicken nuggets mm-hmm. for a dollar and fifty cents. Ben, I have fifteen dollars in my bank account right now. Mm-hmm. I can go and purchase one hundred chicken nuggets. Yeah, I have the power to yep. summon one hundred little dead chicken nuggies. You sure do for fifteen dollars. Ben, I have one hundred and fifty dollars in my bank account. I can go get a thousand <laughs> chicken nuggets right now if I wanted to. That is the math. And the like, math checks out. <laughs> that is that is not like obviously like sales tax not included but still yeah, yeah. like like 150 dollars for chicken nuggets is a lot 150 dollars for a thousand chicken nuggets is like something i think might be worth just going and like, yeah, like oh, oh yeah. i mean i would absolutely like if i ate meat i would absolutely buy a thousand chicken nuggets and just like that would be like a mukbang that's a good that's a good segue Burger King does the impossible burger. Maybe Burger King is your, uh, I, I don't know if this is right on anyone else's screen, but Sean's right there for me. Oh, this, no. the, maybe yeah. Burger King is your fast food of, of choice. I need to go down this way. No, no to the, the other corner. To uh, this? Uh, other up, up, corner. up a little bit more. This? Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's right. Oh, you guys are like switched on I mine. Guess, yeah. So it's me, that is Sean. And so on my screen, you're in the bottom and Ben is to the left. And my like, screen... Sean is here. Okay, so Ben's here. And then Zach is there. Well, that's fun. What the um, fuck were no, we talking about? Burger no, the, King. Problem, the problem is an impossible. if I go and get an impossible... If I go, hey, I would like an impossible Whopper, no mayo, because it comes with mayo. The scary thing, dude, when you're not... Is it the there. oil that they use? The mayo has egg in it. No, I mean, I mean, like in terms of like why you wouldn't do the Impossible Whopper? Did they like cook it in like the oil that has been cooked? No, no, no. I, I, eat, I get the Impossible. Whopper. Okay. But so, so I, you go to Burger King and you're like, can I get the Impossible Impossible Whopper without mayo? And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, and then can I get a, a medium fry? Yeah. Okay. Okay. That'll be eleven dollars. Yep. And I'm like, excuse. me? Like, I've ordered two Impossible Whoppers before when I was, like, really fucking hungry. And it's, like, $15, $16. What is that, dude? It's rat poison. Is it actually rat poison? Or, no, not rat poison. Ant poison. That's such a problem. And it's on my money. Me yeah, million I would go, dollars. I would go wash your hands. Oh, like my home. fucking God, dude. I can't just sit in my room and live. Why do you have oh, ant poison? <laughs> Sitting on his desk. Yeah, that's like he not- doesn't do alcohol, but he takes shots of ant poison. Yeah, you just you just see him doing this. My whole mouse. We do have the TikTok crazy. segment still. Ben, uh, I Ben, get what I put in there. What is what, what is the uh? Does it say what the active ingredient is? Because it might not actually be toxic to you. Um, are you oh, hold on. talking about no, ant poison, bro? Yeah, I just, I just worry about you, dude. I just want you to wash your hands. Take shots of ant poison. Hey, 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 what are you doing? This is a fucking um, train wreck. This is a fucking train wreck. Now my dog is <laughs> hitting the ground again. Can you stop? This is like when you're over at a friend's house and they just start arguing with their girlfriend the whole time. <laughs> and you just have to be like on your phone. <laughs> like, Lay down. Hey, guys. Um, back again. I got my dog uh, here. She's very sweet and nice, but sometimes she uh, she licks the floor and gets and licks up uh, 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 plastic and starts fucking gagging. So that's the that's the girl that cleans up your diarrhea now. That's the one. <laughs> that's right. That's fucking right. That's, um, what, that's what's called a callback, baby. There, there was one thing Ooh. I wanted to talk about before we got into uh, TikToks. Um. This is awesome, life. dude. This is this like is the worst. Sweet. This is the worst. No, I, I said I said earlier. I was like, I, I I don't I don't mean to be like super offensive about this or anything, but I feel like a third of the audience that was watch this is like autistic. Just the way that stuff keeps popping <laughs> it's up. It's true. It's absolutely true. Getting out of nowhere, the attention is constantly being shifted to some random new bizarre thing. Actually, fun. It's funny you say that. I'm I want to. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna wean off caffeine because I think that it is not helping my uh, high anxiety. 
because uh, it, you know, it obviously a, stimulates the nervous system. It, it helps your productivity and it feels freaking nice, but yeah. it um, definitely worsens your anxiety. Definitely is. Do you hear that? Not good. But I, I still drink coffee. I love my coffee. For sure. Oh my god. Um. Anyway. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna think I'm gonna win off caffeine because it, it, it obviously I have a fucking extremely high anxiety and it, that is not great, and I um uh, uh my intention is just trash like I can't I can't it's hard to listen to anybody for more than like two seconds it's it's a fucking pain in the ass and I think I would that also lay off of like TikTok I found that I, I was I, actually I don't watch TikTok I watch TikTok once every week maybe for like an hour and I'm like this is just boring and I just <clears> go to- TikTok is a uh- is a um, doom scrolling device. As much as I am trying to leverage it for us, and I'm using it to aggregate content for us to react to now, I, I do think if you can, definitely stop. Yeah. I have so so my mother um, is always on time. If she's not early to something, she is late to something, and um, you know that is a anxiety. And... Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was trying to calculate. Something. Get her done. Here I am. Here, I'm so sorry. Here I am opening up to you. I don't know you that well. I'm starting to open up to you in very vulnerable to you, and you had to undermine it with fucking Larry the Cable Guy. No, um, so fucking yeah, fuck you. Um, but uh, no. So like again, that's something that like I inherited too. If I'm not like early to something, I am like. Freaking! I have no clue what I was trying to fucking talk about. It's so Sean's fault. It's right. so Sean's fault. It's <laughs> I have so no Sean's clue fault. what I was trying to talk about. The good about. news is you what, have what that. were we saying beforehand. Uh, the good news. Oh no, no, I, I, TikTok, TikTok. That's what it is. TikTok. So like, I have that anxiety too. If I am not early to an event, like if I am not like on track to, to be on time for something, I am like freaking the fuck out. Yeah. And throughout my entire life, there's nothing that's like waved me from that. I've met friends and we have like plans to go out or go to a concert and we've agreed upon a time. And like they're all like pretty laissez faire about like getting in the car and leaving and arriving whenever they want to and being late. And I'm the guy that's like, dude, we got to leave like now. Yeah. We said we'd be there at eight. Yeah. And uh, if we want to be there by eight, we should probably leave like 20 minutes early and blah, 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 blah. Mm. Take talk though is the only thing in my entire life to make me like willingly late for something where i'm like just i put my shoes on and i have like i don't know like two minutes to spare i'll scroll through a couple tiktoks and that turns into like 10 to 15 minutes now i am late for something it's ruined my goddamn life it's ruined my goddamn life man what a good and natural it. transition to the tiktok video that you sent me that i didn't download again um i'm excited to have sean here to react to this i feel like three people like reacting to content it's like there's better there's better better dynamics between just you and me because i had oh. already seen everything before and so i i'm not reacting to it as viscerally as you might because i put put it together and you know and then you don't have that same energy to like bounce it off of real quick so i'm so sorry i, I totally cut you off no worries Dude, I was done. Sean was reading your liked tweets. Those are some fucking <laughs> bangers, dude. Those are some fucking bangers. Where it's just like six of us in a call, and he's just like Zach, like this, this, this tweet dude, about I love, beef. I love. I almost. Dude, I, I have. I I have fucking people that like. I, this is not this. This is a flex for sure. But I promise, I'm not trying to be cocky about this. I know at least three people in my life that just use my liked like feature on my account as like their Twitter feed yeah. I, because I've had Twitter since I was like 14 and I've cultivated a very specific sense of humor on there. When I would me and Ethan were driving back from Las Vegas, I'm sitting in the back of the car and like my girlfriend's like just driving us like wherever. And uh, I, I love it so much because I know when there's something gross, something vile that comes across my feed and I press like, there's like a 10% chance it gets blasted to like everyone else's feed. Yeah. And so I'm sitting in the, uh, I'm sitting in the car and Ethan, Ethan's just like Ethan just looks up and is like, oh, and he like taps my leg and he's like, you did this and he looks at me and it says liked by Zachary yeah. Marshall and yeah. it says y'all ever get your ear eaten out? <laughs> it's just, it's just, okay, 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 okay. Let's pause for a second because Haley called me weird for that, dude. You ever been kissed in the ear, dude? Wait, what you ever the been fuck? No, I've never been kissed no, in the I've ear. Never no, been kissed in the ear. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, hold on. Bro, you, bro, you are weird one. for that. That you're no, 100% okay, weird okay, for that. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. When There's they stick, a, your, when they stick your, their tongue in your ear, dude? No! No, absolutely you've never, not. You've no, never. He's lying. No, I've never he's, done that, dude. This is a I'm bit. A he's lying. He's lying. It is 0% a bit. 
It is zero percent of it, dude. It, dude, he dude, is so dude, dude liar. you can like like nibbling smear love. That's that's a sexy thing. Um, look, I'm willing to try most things. I'm a pretty open book. I'm a fucking like f- f- freak for real. But like, I'm not like 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 the like the. Blah, 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 blah. Although I will yeah. say, what's weird? Okay, I'm telling you, brother. Hold on. Why you think he's telling so people's brother. ears, dude? That's so fucking weird. <laughs> dude, 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 though. Okay, I have something that maybe might relate to this though, because I was like, dude, that's so fucking gross, Sean. You, you're disgusting. Uh, please die. But uh, now that I'm thinking about it, I actually really enjoy uh, Q-tipping my ear to the point where it's like almost sexual. Oh um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I get like, that too. Not just, the time, try, just, just try it once. Just someone's just giving you like a hand job or something, and then just have them stick their tongue like right dude, into your ear. Earwax no. is so gross. It do- dude, fuck you, dude. All right, I have eczema. I have eczema in my it, ears, dude. It I doesn't even. That. <laughs> it this, doesn't. It doesn't even taste that bad. It tastes kind of like sweat, dude. It's not that bad. He's, this is a bit. It's not. It's, it's, not, it's not, a not a bit. A bit. It's a bit. I you never put your tongue or had your someone put their tongue in your ear. That's <laughs> never been a thing. I know well, for a, a fact you're lying, dude. A, a couple times, and then they they say like, "Oh, that's fucking disgusting." All right, you like, little okay, shit. All right, all right, listen here, motherfucker. Next time you're at my house, I want you to stick your tongue deep into my fucking ear. Your ear? I have to ask a sexual thing for him though. He doesn't want to have sex with you. How do you know? Well, uh, yeah, hold on. I just have to ask Haley permission. What, what are you talking about? Okay, so I want to go through your tweets, your like tweets. I'm going to go oh, obviously just to the text ones, the te- uh, the text ones because pictures oh, are harder. Bro, you said uh, you, you like to tweet by Vladimir Jerkov. I tickled your girl at work and she farted. <laughs> that's such a stupid. That's such a stupid tweet. That's such a stupid tweet. Um. Uh. I did by uh, Iris Reborn. I'm stroking off his beef till he um mm, till he comes. I guess. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> if I saw it by Trash Jones, if I saw a minion in real life, I would put it in the microwave. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, oh my god. You you like a lot of tweets about minions uh, by giant idiot cops. They're, they're they're popular right now. Yeah. Cop, can we come inside? Me knows minions are real because I ran over one of my car in 2019. What's this about, <laughs> officer? What the fuck is the minions? And then you got this this minion. I like minions. It's just I like I fucking a. So the idea. I, I this is not a planned bit. This is just him pulling out my fucking Twitter feed and I, fighting. I, I, I really this is so dumb. By Pe- Pelly Greetzer. I feel like pillow stopped working. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> mean. I really, I really like the um, uh, the it was the covenant oh, plasma yeah. rifle. The oh yeah, that's a thing. Like yeah. Looking at each other, yeah, that was kind of cool. Um, I am not upset if you want to just like check that and save shit and pull it on me randomly during these shows. Dude, it's just so fucking funny. He sat on my minion till it grew, dude. <laughs> he's, he sat on my minion and tell it grew. Uh, I hate this. Uh, I'm just seeing if I can find one more, and then we'll get to the TikToks. Um, yeah, my my feed this week must be a sep- exceptionally weird because I was gone for most of the week, yeah. and then like I was just getting a bunch of design shit that popped up a bunch that I was just randomly liking. So you're probably sorting through like random ass typefaces and shit. This tweet is funny. Just because of the specific of where they where they are re- referencing, uh, zoos are by no badges. Uh, zoos are really insane as hell. Ain't no way a polar bear is supposed to be in Memphis, Tennessee. <laughs> I like how that's the place that they choose. All right, let's get into TikToks with this fucking ant killer on my desk. You are completely ba- black. You are gone. Uh, what happened? There all right, it's somewhat better. I was I went full screen. Never go full screen. All right, it is time. To watch TikToks again. Are my boys ready? Yeah, yes. I'm ready. I'm watching them right now, dude. All right, I'm going to put the audio down to like 65. I forgot that I did this. I'm so ready for you to just quit immediately. Okay. I'm, I'm, I am I'm. have no I have no expectation, so let's do this. All right, here we go. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I'm immediately in shock. I don't know. I, I can't do the pausing thing again. But I just no, 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 no
No, you can pause it if you want. <laughs> Doll that oh, I, I saw this is fucking years. hilarious. I highly suggest oh, no, you don't touch girls like that and put her down now. <laughs> what the fuck? Mm -hmm. Dude, tomatoes are good though. Miter. No, they are. No, not miters. It's tomato season right now. It's to they're, they're really good right now. <laughs> and peanut butter? This was like definitely try hardy, but I am impressed at like his core strength to like pull this off at first. Oh, he my fell secret well. is my boyfriend killed himself in high school because of me. Why she walk off dramatically like that was an epic? It's gonna be. Why did the trick across the road? Oh shit! So damn Oh no! I I thought he was gonna break. The microphone is fucking dead, dude. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is what it looks like when you place yourself at the center of your Preach! <laughs> Preach! <laughs> oh, no. I've always been worried about this. <laughs> what the? What the? What the? Okay, so I have a funny story. One of my buddy's co-workers are really dumb. Oh, shit. Okay, I have a thing. I maybe I'm just maybe I'm like it's a personal problem that I have, but when people spell things wrong, I immediately assume that they're just dumb in some way. Is that just is that a bad way to think? I mean that's like a normal reaction to like to, to to continue that thought. Like you have to then like you should then so I'd be like Nah, it, uh, they're not like necessarily stupid. So she spelled the kitchen C I T C E N. Okay, no, uh, uh, yeah, that's that's no that's K I T. Stupid. Maybe it's K I T C E N. Okay. Yeah, starting with a C is definitely like all right. That's yeah. that's very stupid. There are, there are other things like uh, she spelled schedule S C R E D R U L E schedule. <laughs> like that's just fucking hilarious. That's fucking. I, funny. Honestly, though, I'm about to start saying schedule. Yeah, dude, I'm, dude that shit. I'm uh, sorry, I can't make it. That shit. I got some shit in my schedule right now. Yeah, but. <laughs> Hold on. No, isn't this what um? Oh, ain't this no. what, uh, what's that drink called? The thing that tastes like shit and has like horseradish in it. Yeah, I'm Saki. sure this would taste like shit. Sake doesn't have a horseradish in it. Uh, you know, wasabi, know. wasabi and sake, maybe. No. Fuck is it? I don't you know did, what your drink it. has horseradish in it. Yeah, did you pause like it? Death juice or something. You <laughs> paused it, yeah. All right, I'm gonna play. You play? You're such a bitch. Why is he looking like that? It's not enough. Oh, do you guys want to know something crazy? What? After this? No, you say did, it. did you know that ketchup is more viscous than honey? How do we? How are we defining viscous? Viscous viscosity is a, has a unit, and <laughs> so think about this. Think about that. I want you to think of a thought. I want you to think of a thought experiment real quick, because I, I had to I had to do this for a distillation that I was doing, and we were getting like really thick uh, oil coming out. Thought experiment: take a stick and dip it in honey, and the honey drips. Right. Right. You can picture sure. that. You can picture yes, honey yes, like yes, running. Yes. yes. Do that with ketchup. Does the ketchup move? Um, it might glop. Is that is that <laughs> this is supposed to blow my the mind? Fuck is viscosity? <laughs> I don't, wait, am I dumb? What is yeah, viscosity? That's what I'm saying. Is like, how are we defining viscosity? I know when something is viscous, right? Like right. it is something right. that like this is what, emulsifies this is what, and sticks together. But yeah. I don't know how we're like this is defining what this you. is more because you think of viscous. honey and syrup. You think of honey and syrup as being really thick, and they kind of are. But technically, ketchup is thicker and has more viscosity. It takes more force to move ketchup than it does to move honey. You're gonna make me blow my brains out, dude. I never, I never would have thought of that. I was just trying to get you to watch a man drink mustard and vodka at once. <laughs> this, this reminded me because mustard also has a higher viscosity than honey. So we're we about to do like some that, science experiments next episode. We that could, noted. I, I could go. I have honey. I could go get. Um, Dude, let's do it. Let's do a science presentation. Come, come to us. Do the do, do the whole like presentation thing. And on that same I note, was, I was thinking about making a TikTok about it because like that does that. Oh, yeah. 
I, I can so, throw you in here next to the guy drinking fucking honey and shit. <laughs> I had I had to do this research for a distillation we were doing. And I, I had distillation to look up, for what do you do? What, 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 what do you mean a distillation you were doing? Are you Walter I, I, White? I work, I work for a weed place, dude. That we oh, that. hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. <laughs> and so I had to... We I had to, to prove a point. I had to like look up the the viscosity scale, and as I'm scrolling through, trying to figure out the the units and stuff, it says like ketchup and mustard are much more viscous than honey. And I was like, this I was I thought I was dreaming. Like I read that, and my brain was like, this is so unreal. I have I, to be I, dreaming. I love I love this because I feel like you know, that definitely is a very interesting fact and I'm glad you brought it up because I, I appreciate this, the segment and everything. However, I think most normal people would read that and go, huh, interesting. And then that their thought process would end there. I just love the fact that this is like the thing that like, like shattered mind, your mind for the mind day. Um, um, <laughs> a month ago, I forgot how nutrition facts work. And so I, <laughs> I saw on my oatmeal, <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. I saw on my oatmeal total grams or total carbs was like 50 grams and but right but no you know if you look at carbs if you go get a nutrition nutrition label i i actually got one right here dude i have my ice cream yeah you know, it's not gonna focus yeah, it's nutrition you, 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 you'll, you'll see total carbs and then the breakdown is like added sugars and then simple <laughs> something it'll usually have a breakdown but on the oatmeal it didn't add up to 50 so my brain went we're fucking dreaming and I had like a panic attack for a second, and then I was like, "Sean, Sean, shut, the, shut the fuck!" Like, yeah. I had like a, I have like a ten second freak out where I was like, "Am I dreaming?" And then I had to. It was, I it was the same night that you were drinking all that gin, dude. I, I might have like mild schizophrenia from the alcohol, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> um, <laughs> like just the onset of schizophrenia with, from blacking with, out. But with that said, with our with our with our little ex- science experiment said, you said you wanted to do some like drinking meme, Zach. Here's our first drink. No. There we go. I would, I would die. That's good. I w- <laughs> Down the hatch, boys. Uh, <laughs> ew. Wait, why did you make... He sound, what did he sound like? <laughs> you. He sounded like what, those people, the, the, the people that can't talk, so they have the thing on their throat that like vibrates. Oh, the you know buzzer. I mean? The yeah. people that smoke too many cigarettes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just like dude, the sounds. Mike would love this video, dude. <laughs> he would not love this video. Really good. <laughs> <laughs> he, said, he said six out of two. <laughs> he said six out of two. <laughs> did he say six out of two? Wait, go back. What did he say? I think he said six out of two. Is it six out of two or six out of ten? Oh shit! I'm gonna go back right now. Six out of two. He said he'd say six out of ten. <laughs> I didn't catch that. I thought it was a six out of ten. He just said six out of two. Wait, okay. So I think we're being mean to this lady that's about to die. I'm just saying. No, no, no. I love. I actually love this video. It's my favorite thing. This is my favorite part of the whole thing. That it makes me want to like you doing these TikTok bits. It makes me want to like make you a TikTok bit, and it's it's my free page, so it's just all animal abuse. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, um, you know what was enlightening about that last video is <laughs> I I thought those like uh, car horn like sound effects were supposed to be the point was that they were unfunny. So like as I, and I think that's the generational divide between millennial and Zoomer, where like I honestly thought that no one laughed at those videos. Like the point was like, wow, that was so bad. I'm not going to laugh at it. And yeah. then that's funny. Yeah. But Zach just laughed his ass off. <laughs> so that woman going, no, no, I really, I really gen- genuinely thought that was very funny because and like, it's just, it, you don't expect it at all. And then just to hear the like so general like, air horn. Uh, uh, I thought so it was funny. I thought it was funny. I, I thought yeah, it was funny because it, it just was so unexpected. It's more. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. All right. I mean, that's yeah. 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 That's fair. They're gay. It's, it's, it's not. It's a, what? I was gonna say it's just the audio Sorry. non sequitur. That's oh, what yeah, it is. Yeah, it's yeah, a non sequitur that's been broken down. Yeah. Definitely. And by the way, it's July first. So um 
we have uh, uh, some handcuffs for anybody in here that's trying to be super American today. Soon to be. Yeah, it's very American. So I was going to say soon to be, you know, illegal. This person is shaped very funny. Yeah. Oh, what? The joke is not that they are fat. The joke is that they are oddly shaped. It's, yeah. it's they grew fat in the wrong place. Wow. It's like they were they like yeah. they were inflated. Yeah. Weird. Freaking way. You better be careful. Hey, what for? I can't even do that. I've been doing this for years, man. <laughs> just the very the hat, that's a that's a David video. I love the, that yeah, that's a David clip. Uh, shit. Okay, so this person, a white right, person. Well, yeah, let me just like ask. Normal white. Yeah, normal white person. <laughs> let me just ask you, Sean. Where do you think this video is? What do you think there's going to be the yeah, take where, beds, take beds. Okay, okay. So this looks like pizza related. Okay. Um. And what Ben was your bed? Uh, she just watched Scarface. Okay. No content. Uh, we can't. <laughs> we don't know what could be. The, the I actually, this. This, is, this is like a recurring meme on TikTok of this like Chinese farmer, and all these oranges are covered in like frost, and he cuts it open and juices them, and it's on like everyone's for you page. Oh. It's like pretty unescapable, and so oh. they're like making gotcha. fun of the. Gotcha. Yeah. So we but, have. But have, we but have that this wasn't guy. an egg. That wasn't an egg. Like the woman was not, was I imagine it was orange juice, but it could have been anything. Come on, brother. <laughs> um, Come on, brother. So this guy from last episode, last time he had SpaghettiOs, is this mac and cheese? Yeah, he, he beer, he beer, this is like a uh, beer stick. He beer sticked a whole can of SpaghettiOs, and now he's back with some ramen noodles. Ramen noodles. I yeah. know. So people like this um, need mental health. Yeah, you're right. You're right. They they, they really need assistance. Sean, I don't know if you watch the spaghetti thing at all. Probably not, but uh, you're in for a treat. I'm not gonna like this. Have a great fucking day, guys. Why does he sound like Mickey Mouse? Oh my god. He missed. Oh no. How does his stomach not just like explode? Yeah, that's a lot of that's a lot of ramen. How does he not choke? You want me if you want. I won't be doing that. <laughs> Shawty, that is raw. <laughs> I'm sorry. That is raw, girl. Okay, we're back with the fucking egg lady. <laughs> That's stupid. Okay, you can eat raw food. Okay, you can't do that. <laughs> Dude, hey, hold up. Hey. Whoa, wait, wait Mike, Mike has a dick <laughs> Why are they putting ice cream in the baby? Why are they putting ice cream in the baby? Why? Why is it? It's an ice cream baby. Oh, download the screenshot. Screenshot. Boy, why did they? Make, why did they have an ice cream baby? What happened? I don't know, dude. I don't, dude, I don't want to. I don't want to see the ice cream baby. Oh, dude, that was good. <laughs> Thank that you. Was that good. was that was put together on half the time I did the first one on. Yeah. So we'll be hey, back. That's good. That's good. Um, but I know you're tired, Zach. So we can wrap this up. Do you have any uh, closing thoughts on uh, on uh, your you your you? Um, so any local, any f closing thoughts on me? Yeah. I'm pretty chill. Um, if you're like around and you want to like just like you know Slide hang out, out. Yeah, like yeah. i'm pretty chill right. come on yeah. um what's your number your um um it would be, <laughs> oh God God damn it. <laughs> it would be so I, I was like should i do 911 like that's the lamest <laughs> fucking like you were thinking of like a, what to go with yeah. yeah what's your number uh six inches six inches five and a half um don't check in the backseat officer hey support your local uh farmers ah. market uh your local concert venue mm. and your local Cobbler. Your cobbler. Local oh, like cobblestone? Cobbler. I actually yeah, do no. live near there's a cobbler on the street, like Yeah. 
That's crazy, dude. I those are, those are, from from here on out, when I close out, I will give you three local businesses to support, and that is your mission until the next episode. Until the next episode. Until and then I have to take pictures. Episode. I have to take pictures of me assisting them. Oh, if you want to, for sure. Uh, hey, uh, you, first of all, my dog has obviously has something to say. So. So, uh, Sean, do you have anything to say about yourself? Actually, I actually do, if I can make a serious uh, announcement. Um, I have AIDS. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, um, oh, dude, that's the whole video right there. That's all we need. No, I'm actually working uh, with Haley, believe it or not. Um, uh, Haley wanted to work with me on, uh, like, do some kind of, like, thing together. And we decided on doing, you're familiar, Ben, with the project. <laughs> that I was doing with fire singer stuff that I'm still doing like writing and stuff. She wants to help me write a true crime podcast in that world. And we have already finished the first episode, like uh, basic writing. And so we're going to do some cleanup mm. and stuff. And then I'm going to record that and post like a podcast within the world that I'm creating. That's sick, dude. If you need that, a big round of applause. It's a good plug. If, if I, yeah. If I need an editor, that's going to take years to do it, dude. Yeah. That, that's me. Yeah. She's getting louder. Yeah, so is Haley, dude. It's fucking crazy, dude. Hey, can we get a congrats to Sean going on here? Can everyone just go congrats? Not yet. Congrats, Sean and Chad. Congrats, no, Sean. Man. The dog is actually no. congratulating yeah, him as well. Congrats, man. Yeah, here you go, How dude. How about the cat? All right. Well, clearly there's no like love. There's no love between you two. Holy Look, shit. That cat is eating you. Um, he is, he asshole, just, uh, just want to like shout out myself. Uh, I don't have anything going on. I don't do very much other than this. I uh, love my boys. My I love my boys. Uh, happy Go Pride Maxwell. Month. Go Wayne Maxwell. Yeah. Oh wait, can you play, play us out? out? Play us out. Play us out. Yeah. Uh, let me get my guitar. Actually, not this. I, I was like, I was so confused for a second. I was like, am I having a stroke? It was a bass, but when it was like facing backwards, yeah. Hold on, I'll be right. I'll be, I got this right now here. he's gone, we can just like I have a cut it before. Here, <laughs> just cut it before he gets back. Oh, he's back. All right, never mind. All right, dude, hold on. He's so <laughs> annoying, isn't he? That's crazy. Dude, it is dark. I right, know. Wait, 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 Sean, Sean. Can you sing? No. <laughs> All right. Yeah, fucking, play something. Fucking hail it. And then I, don't, I can't play the rest. You gotta, of this gotta get closer to the microphone because it, it just would cut off every other note. Oh, I just broke. I just broke. No, you like, did not. Three. No, you did not. I just broke the string, dude. How are you gonna play the Halo now? It, well, dude, hold on. It's crazy, man. You should only be able to play on an Xbox. Now it's on PC, guitar. Mm -hmm. PC and guitar. Mm -hmm. PC oh, and you, guitar. You remember when someone, someone beat Dark Souls with the Guitar Hero controller? Be, just be I remember guitar. when people used to do that. Yeah. Wait. That's the podcast, lights dude. up, lights up. Wait, wait, hold on. Put your lights up. Bye.